one of the most common ways to locate the far end of a cable is to use tone. Now, a tone generator and a probe has been popular since the very beginning of the telephone, and it is carried through now to modern technology with all the different cable types that we use. And with the low voltage pro, you can indeed put tone out on any cable type that you use. So let's see how you would do that. First thing you do is you push the power button to power up. And it tells you there's one test stored in here and then we come up to all the different uh, cable types. What should we start with first? Let's start with video. Let's say we want to tone a coax cable, all right? So I simply cursor it over to the coax cable and I'm just going to leave it up there because tone is down here. It's not an icon up here, but I select my cable type up there. So we all ready? Let's just push tone. Now, the hammer starts going, telling us the tone is going out, but we don't have a cable hooked up. So let's go ahead and hook up our cable. There we go. Hook up our cable here. And we'll take our probe. Now the probe is an accessory that you buy independently from the LV Pro. It's kind of nice. It has a lighted tip on it. Uh, it has a volume control. It has some noise filtering. And let's check it out. Got a nice, uh, nice tone. Now this is tone number one. You can select uh, from three different tones. That's tone number two. That's tone number one. <laughs> you can see we got creative with the tones. Now don't let the loudness of the tone with this coax fool you. Coax is extremely hard to tone. And if you were to run this line all the way out and have a, a reasonable amount out there, you're going to have to be right at the tip here to be able to get a very loud sound. But when it's so close and coiled up, it just really does blow the doors off, doesn't this nice loud tone? Okay, so we've just toned coax, and the one option we had was to select from uh, three different tones. Let's go ahead, like all other tests, hit the exit button, which stopped the test. I'm going to remove the coax cable. And now let's use the cursor to move over to a data cable. And let's go ahead and hook up our RJ45 cable. And let's say we want to tone this. Now again, we could be toning speaker wire or something else. But here's our RJ45. We have that over on data. And let's just push the tone button. Again, the hammer starts going, saying that your um, the, the tester is working. Let's see what it sounds like. OK. Now, the RJ45 gives you a couple more options than the coax cable did. You have all three tones. There's tone one. We can hit the up arrow. Tone two and tone three, just like the coax cable. And you can see this little tone icon is blinking, and that's why it's giving you those choices of tone. But if you simply cursor over to pair like that, now you have a choice of pairs, and let me show you what I mean. C3, 6, 4, 5, and 7, 8, or all of them. Now, it turns out that you get a real loud tone with all of them, but you might be trying to tone out just individual pairs, which this will allow you to do. There's the center pair. Oh, I shouldn't say center pair, that's telephone. This is the third of the Ethernet pairs. One, two, three, six, four, five, and seven, eight. This is four, five, three, six, one, two. There we go. So you have your choice there, and then you have your choice of t uh, tones, and that is all there is to using tone uh, with the Low Voltage Pro. Pretty neat. Hit exit to stop, and we're done. Thank you.